my buddy Stevens RX-8. Finally, it's been a long time coming and I finally get to drive this monster of a car. But the only thing is, it forgot the monster at home. Previously, the car had a, and don't mind me if I get this wrong, but I believe it had a 5.2 Chevy motor in it at first. And then when he built Rakeem's car, if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out using the card at the top of the screen right now. But after he built that car, he was like, this car needs a lot more power. I believe he put twin turbos on the 5.2, or 5.3, should I say. Yeah, the 5.3, sorry about that. He put twin turbos on the 5.3, and now he took it all off and he put a, a 6.2 in it, which is equivalent to the LS3, I believe except it's not the LS3, it's the L99 that came out of some other Chevy vehicle. But uh, yeah, the car makes roughly 400-ish wheel horsepower, but one thing I don't like about it is he still needs to get the trans tuned for it. And uh, yeah, cause the trans is still tuned for the twin turbo setup. I know it might sound crazy, but it, it, it shifts fine and stuff, but whenever you get on the throttle, it doesn't go all the way back down gears like it should. And so I can't really feel all the torque that it has, but eventually it'll get back up the torque. The rear end that he used in this car is actually the 8.8 .8 rear end, not the one out of the Cobra, but the one out of the Thunderbird. I'm not the most mechanically inclined, so I don't actually know the difference between the two, but it is a strong rear end. It has to be to fit in this car. The gear ratio of it is 2.73. And those are pretty long gears, if you ask me. Like, I know in my Genesis, we have 373. And uh, I know in the quarter miles, what the people do on Mustangs, are they put 14 gears in it. And you can actually feel the difference on how long this gearing is. And it also feels kind of weird with it being a Mazda. I don't think I'm supposed to be looking at 9,000 RPMs and the needle slowly climbing up like that, even though it's not gonna reach all 9,000 anyways, but it just looks real weird up in here. <laughs> and one thing that Steven is big on is not fully changing the characteristics of the car, even though he's putting a lot bigger motor in it. One thing he's big on is, you know, not really changing that. And what the RX-8 is, it was supposedly a front engine, mid engine, sporty four door coupe, which all sounds so weird when you're just saying it. But I don't know why I keep on wanting to shift, like my leg and my arm, they're just going into shift mode. Oh yeah, but this is an automatic. I didn't tell y'all about the transmission, but this car is equipped with the 6L80 automatic transmission. These transmissions came in the Camaro SS. I don't remember what year, but I do believe that they came in the Camaro SS. And to be honest, the car still feels quite nimble. It doesn't really drive any differently, to be honest. I mean, you can feel the power that it wants to give. And I mean, it just needs a manual transmission. It has the wrong transmission in it, Steven, so fix that. When it comes to weight distribution, I believe these cars have like nearly 50-50, so cornering and stuff, it will not change much. I believe Steven even weighed the differences between the two motors and things like that, and there's not a huge difference in weight for the two motors. So it doesn't really affect that. Like I said, the power that it wants to give, the sound as well. Like, who, who doesn't love a V8 sound? I mean, Sorry to say it, I'm not like this big V8 fanatic, but I mean, you gotta respect the sound of them. And if I floor it right now, okay, <laughs> okay, maybe I was going slow enough to where the transmission wanted to kick into the right gear. It felt good. Really did, it felt good. I'm taking the car on some back roads right now, but I have this Silverado in front of me, so I can't really, you know, not drive it too hard, but I don't know. I'm just gonna let this truck go a little bit ahead of me so I can see what these curves are about. car 
car, so I'm not gonna push it too hard, but I do feel pretty confident when going in these curves. His paddle shifters don't work, so I can't manually make sure I'm in the right gear for this. So all I can do is just give it a little threat, give it a little throttle, and give it a little brake. And hopefully the car does the rest. I don't have to shift the car right now, but something about this shifter, like Steven, okay, so the transmission that's in it has five different gear stages, but the RX-8 only has four on here. So reverse is kind of finicky to try to get into, and drive is kind of fin finicky to get into. And that's because it has the manual mode and it wants to go into that. And reverse is kind of stuck in between park and neutral. So you have to bring it down to what it what should be reversed, but you'll bring it down to neutral with the first click and you have to click it back up. And I promise it's not going back to park. It's going to reverse. <laughs> but that's something Steven can easily fix if he wanted to. But he just said he's gonna just not worry about it because he loves how the shifter looks in here. And this Momo shift knob that he has on here is quite nice. I do like it. And along with the carbon fiber wrap that he has on here for the center console, I like that as well. You can never have too much carbon. <laughs> Thank God for bigger four piston brakes because uh, the GT500 brakes that he has on here, they do stop quite nicely. All right. I think we're uh, in Mexico now, so I want to get a little dig pull in for you. See how I react to this. community y'all are just gonna have to be mad about it because I'm sure the rest of the world likes this kind of stuff but this car that I'm driving right now it only has his custom exhaust on it and you can find that at ls1rx8.com uh, shout out to Steven for that but now that this truck has gone I'm just gonna drive it a little bit on these back roads and see how things handles Woo. before you take them back off. I wanna see how that, uh, that goes. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna take it on back roads whenever you do. Just letting you know. Steven making an autocross build with this car. 
I can see it. I think that actually might be one of his plans one day to make a full out autocross or uh, road course build with this car. But as of now, I'm gonna continue to enjoy driving this car while I have it. My car is at his shop. They're looking at the AC because, I don't know, I have bad luck with H AC systems. But if you wanna see me do more reviews on the channel with unique cars, then hit up y'all's friends and tell them I do reviews and let them hit me up on this video or on my Instagram, which should be at the bottom of the screen right now, and put in a request for what vehicles y'all would want me to do. Comment down in the section below and let me know anything that y'all would do with y'all's RX-8, or if y'all have a buddy, or if you have one, and y'all have done stuff with it, let me know about it. I like to know that kind of stuff. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you just stick around? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll get all the notifications for whenever I do post new content. But this just about wraps up today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.